To take a factorial, you put an exclamation point after the number, and for 4 factorial, it would be 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. 7 factorial would be 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, and so forth. 1 factorial would be just 1. 0 factorial, it turns out, you can define to be 1, but it doesn't extend to negative integers. The gamma function is an extension of factorial. It's defined as an integral, and gamma of n turns out to be n minus 1 factorial when n is a positive integer. I don't know why it's off by 1, but watch out for that. Gamma of n plus 1 is n times gamma of n, which means if I want to know what's gamma of 5 halves, that would be 3 halves gamma of 3 halves. What's gamma of 3 halves? It'd be 1 half gamma of 1 half. Well, that's nice, but what's gamma of 1 half? It turns out gamma of 1 half is the square root of pi. There's a very clever integral that can be done to prove that. The gamma function shows up in differential equations, linear algebra, um, higher dimensional geometry, probability distributions, in particular the beta distribution that gets used for Bayesian statistics, and lots of other things. There's even a beta function, which is three gamma functions combined. If alpha and beta are positive integers, this is a whole lot of extra work for nothing because this will boil down to a simple fraction. And also if alpha or beta is an integer plus one half. But the single most important thing to remember about gamma is gamma of n is n minus one factorial.